So what is the evidence of pride? And I, I think that, you know, we can all find ourselves on this list. And I think that it's um, a lot of the things that we're doing, they're rhetorical. It's designed for us to be looking at ourselves. Um, I was listening to a pastor and he was saying, most of us are really good at using a microscope, but very bad at using a mirror. And so we need to approach life, approach this lesson for ourselves. And so the fear of failure, you know, how could that be prideful? Well, the Bible says many are the afflictions of the righteous. And so we need to understand that a part of being in this life is that we're going to fail. And that I really believe I have learned my le best lessons and I have grown the most from failure. And so the fear of failure means you think you're perfect and nothing is ever going to go wrong. And that is a really big indicator of, of the evidence of pride. So when we talk about dishonoring God, we can accomplish a lot of things in our own power, our own skill and our own ability. So we think, you know, you can maybe be good at your vocation or your career choice. You may have been good at sports or you may be a great dresser or, yeah. uh, or whatever it may be, something that you can accomplish in and of your own power. And while that may be okay, it is not going to be honoring God in the sense of it's all about me. It's all right. about myself. God is looking for the, the reduction in our pride level so we can be used and be a, a benefit to others. So this is something that we talk about as it relates to being dishonorable to God. 